main interest of SISBIO is to devote to systems biology. Although SISBIO is quite young, we are at the beginning of the construction phase, we have been able to solve some scientific problems quite relevant interest. First of all, we have been able to construct a multi-scale model of the cell cycle and in this way we have been able, both with experimental data and computational data, to solve a mystery that was going on for 30 years in life sciences. We have discovered the molecular mechanism of the control of the entrance into S phase by a critical cell mass. It appears a very specific topic, but instead is very relevant also for the understanding of the cell cycle in mammalian cells. Metabolomics at CISBIO Center has the potential for a rapid identification of hundreds of metabolites. Metabolic perturbations are common in the most important human diseases, like cancer, immunological, cardiological, neurological diseases. Our research is focused on cancer and on neurological diseases. In particular, we are interested in metabolic rewiring in lung, colon, and breast cancers, and during the neuroinflammation processes in neurodegeneration diseases like Parkinson and Alzheimer's. I am a PhD student at the University of Milano Bicocca, and I'm working at the Epipredic project, which is funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Program. And my research within this network aims at understanding the interplay between epigenetics and metabolism, and how in turn this could lead to development of endocrine therapy resistance. I truly believe that with these great infrastructure facilities, along with the computational and experimental expertise available here, I will be able to accelerate my research and hopefully take the research community being a step closer in providing better and personalized therapy for breast cancer patients. I support biologists in uncovering the complexity of biological systems with special regard to their metabolic properties. In general terms, experimental biologists come to me with a bunch of omics data, let's say metabolomics or transcriptomics data, and they find it hard to make sense out of all this information. Therefore, I integrate those data into computational models, able to extract knowledge from them and to indicate the possible mechanisms that originate those data. Moreover, by simulating in silico perturbations of the system, we can make assumptions, we can make predictions on how to interfere with the system's behavior. These predictions will eventually be tested in the wet lab. As a member of CISBIO-IT, I have designed and developed the COSIS, a web-based infrastructure that helps the user through the definition, simulation and analysis of reaction-based models, including the deterministic and stochastic of the behavior and the flux balance analysis. In the case of computationally demanding analysis, COSIS can exploit GPU-accelerated algorithms to speed up the computation. This is only one of the most important features in our system. 